Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV. With the winter storm that raged through the states just this last week, a lot of people's furnaces quit working. So I got a lot of questions on my furnace videos asking me a variety of different things. And one of the more common questions that I got was, Jay, my thermostat is set to 70, but my furnace only kicks in when it's 65. And even then it doesn't always turn on the furnace. Do you think my thermostat is bad or is there something else that could be causing that? And there's actually a variety of different things that could cause the furnace to intermittently work like that. So after getting a few comments like that, I decided to make this video as more of a reference video. I have a lot of specific videos regarding these different problems that could cause the furnace to do that. So in this video, I'll try to direct you to the right video that can hopefully help you fix the problem that you're experiencing. Let's start with the first most easy and most helpful thing you could do if your furnace is not working or intermittently not working. Whenever your furnace fails to turn on, go down to the furnace and on the bottom door, there should be a little sight glass. Most furnaces will have this. Look through that sight glass and see if you see any blinking error codes. You wanna write that down and then look up what that error code means. If you do have an error code, that will really help your troubleshooting, narrow it down and make it a lot easier to track down what is causing that problem. And if this furnace LED troubleshooting light sounds like an intimidating topic to you, it's okay. I have a simpler video where I explain where to find that light and how to read what it means and just go more specific into that, where to start. So I'll list that video in the description. And then I have another video of furnace troubleshooting codes where I go through each category of different codes and explain what they mean and what you could do to fix it if you're having that problem. Another really easy thing to do is to replace the furnace filter. Even if it looks clean, if it's been some time since you replaced your furnace filter, this is a really easy thing you could try. Just try replacing it even if it looks clean and chances are this may be your only problem. And if by chance your problem started after you replaced your furnace filter, I would try taking it out because there are some filters that are really restrictive right off the bat. Try taking the furnace filter out altogether and run the furnace like that for a day or two and see if that takes care of the problem. If the problem stops with the furnace filter out, well then you know that you should get a different filter that is not as restrictive. I have a whole video on frequently asked furnace filter questions. So if you have no idea where your filter is or you need some more information about that, most likely that video will be able to answer any questions that you have. And I have one more video where I go over the different kind of furnace filters and which ones are more restrictive and less restrictive. Next easy thing you could check is your thermostat. There's a few different things that could go wrong with your thermostat. And yes, it is possible that the thermostat itself is bad. It does have a temperature sensor in it. And sometimes that temperature sensor does fail and it starts to misread the temperature in the room. But that's pretty rare. Usually it's something else. If your thermostat has batteries, try replacing them. Once again, just like the filter, even if the batteries are fairly new, just try replacing them and see what happens. I've been on quite a few furnace calls where the thermostat batteries were the only problem. Another thing I've seen messing with people is the thermostat programming, especially if it's a new person that moved in, a new tenant and they don't know how the programming works, that could be messing with people. Or if there was a power outage, sometimes that resets the programming on the thermostat. So if you're not sure what your programming is set to, one thing you could try doing that is very easy, if your thermostat has a hold feature, the hold temperature, try pressing hold on it and leave it like that for a couple of days and see if that makes a difference. And of course, if it was your thermostat programming that was causing your furnace to behave erratically, then this will solve the problem. And lastly, if you come to the conclusion that your thermostat is bad and that is the source of your problems, a really easy way to check your thermostat is to simply bypass it or jumper it, either at the thermostat itself or at the furnace control board. I have a video where I show you how to do that and that will help you confirm whether the thermostat is bad or not. If you have some thermostat questions, I have quite a few thermostat videos on thermostat wiring, how to program a thermostat, how to turn off the schedule. I have a few Nest thermostat videos, the basic wiring of a thermostat, etc. I'm gonna go ahead and link the whole thermostat playlist in the video description as well. And another thing that could be causing your furnace not to turn on or intermittently turn on is that the furnace is overheating. A lot of furnaces will have an overheating sensor. It's called the high limit switch. If the furnace overheats, that switch will open up and your furnace will stop working for three hours. And of course, if there's a blizzard outside, the temperatures in the house are gonna start to drop really quickly if the furnace is not turning on at all. There are many things that could cause a furnace to overheat. A dirty furnace filter is one of them, but there's a whole host of other different problems. And I have a video of 10 things that can cause a furnace to overheat. 
So if your issue is an overheating furnace, I would start with that video. I have another video on how to reset that little switch. Sometimes they get stuck open and your furnace never turns back on. You just have to tap that little switch and oftentimes that's all it takes to get your furnace to turn back on. And the last thing I wanna go over that could be causing your furnace not to turn on is an open pressure switch. If you're having a pressure switch issue, that can be caused by, again, a whole host of different things. One of them being, if you have a high efficiency furnace, maybe the intake pipe that is sucking air in, the one that sticks outside, sometimes those things can get plugged with ice or snow, and that will cause your furnace not to turn on or to turn on intermittently. I cover that topic and many others in my video, 10 pressure switch problems and solutions. If you're having a pressure switch problem, check those videos out. And if your problem is a little bit more complicated and you're gonna whip out your multimeter to start testing things, I do have some videos that can help you with that process. And that's about it. Those are all the videos I wanted to direct you to. Now, if you're sitting there and you're a little bit confused, you were hoping this video would just go over the most common furnace problems and perhaps yours is in that list. I do have a video for you. It's called the top five most common furnace problems. And there's one that's even bigger. It's called the top 10 most common furnace problems. And in that video, I actually go over about 40 different problems. So there's a high chance that whatever furnace problem you're experiencing, it will be on that list. Well guys, I hope you found this video helpful. All the videos that I mentioned are gonna be in the video description. So look for them there. Stay warm and good luck with the furnace fixing. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, let me tell you a little secret. I have a fear of elevators, but I'm taking steps to avoid it. But for those of you that didn't like that dad joke, I have a question for you. Which days of the week are the strongest? Of course, it's Saturday and Sunday, because the rest of the days are weekdays.